This prayer would teach us the importance and value of humility before and unto God and mankind. It will teach us proper stewardship of all the things our God entrusts to our charge and our care. It will spiritually mature our understanding as well as enlighten us as to how to surrender up and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, our most prized possession, our free will agency. Pray this prayer as often as it is necessary for you to remind yourself of these three key points so you never lose sight of this truth that we are truly owners of nothing for all things belong to the Most High God, yet He chooses to share all things with us, making us heirs, sharers, and partakers and stewards of all. This is the prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I give you the glory, honor, and praise that's due your holy name. Father, in Jesus' name, I come boldly before your throne of grace to obtain mercy and to find grace to help in this time of need. Father, you said in your word to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, I can make my requests known unto you. Father, I offer my spirit, soul, body, heart, and its conscience, and my mind to you in sacrifice upon the altar of God, that I may be consecrated unto you and be yours always in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I offer in sacrifice unto you myself, flesh, and humanity, and I bind them with cords to the altar of God. Please let the fire of the Holy Spirit consume them upon the altar as a burnt offering to you that I may be sanctified unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I offer my feelings of frustration, anxiety, worries, bitterness, anger, tiredness, weariness, impatience, self-preservation, lust, covetousness, jealousy, ambitions, aspirations, and so forth in sacrifice. I bind them with cords to the altar of God, and I ask that they be consumed upon the altar with the fire of the Holy Spirit as a burnt offering to you, so that they no longer have any root, life, place, expression, dominion, operation, manifestation, power, control, or influence whatsoever in me, through me, or against me, and from this moment on, not even a trace, remembrance, or residue will remain within me before you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I offer you my will, my words, and my ways, my likes and dislikes, my wants and desires, my passions and drives, my cravings and appetites, my affections and attentions, my whims and impulses, and my preferences and rathers on the altar of God, that I may be conformed to your will, your word, and your ways in thought, purpose, word, deed, and feeling, and thereby conform to the image of your dear Son, King Jesus the Lord, and through which Father, transformed into your image and likeness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, I offer you my strengths and weaknesses, my successes and mistakes, my victories and defeats, and my testings and trials on the altar of God that you may work in them all according to the design and counsel of your will and purpose accentuating the positive and eliminating the negative as you work in me to will and to do your good pleasure that they may all work together for my good because I love you and I love you because you first loved me and because I am called according to your purpose in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I gratefully and gladly give you the following gifts you have given me back as gifts to you. Father, I offer you the vision, purpose, and destiny of God for my life, my identity in Christ, 
the promises of God you made me and the prophecies you have spoke to me and cover my life with back as gifts to you on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the life, health, and strength you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the gifts, talents, skills, abilities, genius, creativity, callings, anointings, and faculties you have gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the family, friends, and associates you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the finances and possessions you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the time, effort, and energy you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the duties, responsibilities, and recreation you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the authority, power, influence, titles, offices, positions, and prestige you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you the vocation or career or profession or occupation or enterprise in business, which one or more or all you gave me back to you as gifts on your holy altar. Father, I offer you these gifts you have given me back as gifts to you so that you may rest rule, abide, reign, preside, and reside in them, through them, and over them all with absolute rule and control that your kingdom may come and your will be done in them, through them, and over them all for your glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you now for hearing, answering, and already performing my prayer request I submit before you now. I receive it done by faith. Lord, I thank you for doing it by the Holy Spirit. And now I seal this prayer by the blood of the Lamb, which ratifies my covenant with you. In Jesus' name, amen.